welcome 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 to my youtube channel my name is ifechuku arinze this effect tv so in this video i'm teaching you how to upload a ebook on amazon kdp kindle ebook not they have different stages they have the kindle ebook and the paperback so the kindle ebook is like the online version of a book and the paperback is actually a draft like is actually sorry it's actually a hardcover like the paperback is actually like the version of the book that you can actually send out to different places so now let's go so you can say i published one book or you can do a book the other one i've not published it i'm still about to publish it so now just tap create here yeah? once you have created your amazon kdp account the i'm website for it is kdp.amazon.com not amazon kdp.com note i also i also put it in the description to avoid you getting scammed so now say kindle ebook paperback hardcover okay just choose the create ebook that is the kindle ebook let me zoom in kindle ebook and see it tap create ebook so it's going to load up so i would like you i would like you to subscribe to my channel turn on notification that's going to notify you whenever i drop awesome videos i mostly do entertainment here but also to help the mass to make money online and learn different ways and also help do different things on this channel so it's actually gonna be helpful so this is kindle ebook details so now you just have to put everything concerning the book so i've actually done this video lots of times and I, they keep on taking it down um youtube keep on taking down my videos i don't know they said it contains cyberbullying which i don't do so i'll just do this quickly english so you just choose your language english so if you're actually a in french if um, you speak french or japanese or what um language you just put it in so your book title I actually put whatever book title that is the name of the title the title of the book then just maybe let's say um game of thrones then let's say subtitle house of dragon wow okay just something like that anything you want to put so then now okay let me just leave this house of dragon so now they said add series details so you actually know this is a series so you can actually put it but now i don't want okay let's let's say that we're doing another story of um love in the moonlight or something that is not actually a series just fresh from our oven that we actually created by ourselves and do series if your book part of a series just add details you add details and show but this is optional so if your book is not part of a detail of a series just leave that edition number which is optional have an edition number if this title is a new edition of an existing book is optional no need author so it's actually better to put your name if it's chuku arinze or my first name is my son last name is arinze or i can put a pen name ifec official that is or ifec tv whatever you are putting then now you now go and see author You learn the say contributors. Those are other people that contributed to the book. So if there's actually an um, the person that wrote the book or an editor or whatever, you add it there and now we'll go to description. So you now write okay, this book is actually telling you a man who lost his wife and child because of greed and had to give and how to divide this con and i don't know how to maybe how to divide his um city or his kingdom between his brother and his daughter so saw something like that but it has to be under four thousand characters so publishing rights i just click i own sorry i own a publishing i own a copyright a copyright and i hold the necessary publishing rights that don't put this is a public domain work so now your keywords so this keyword is actually what people actually use to search for you can actually put game of thrones you know people actually abbreviate it to got you can actually put house of dragon you 
Netflix, whatever you know, if you don't know how to get keyword, just search for whatever story you're writing. You actually simulate what people ask, uh, um, actually search for, like created keywords. Then you copy it. People so like that when you search for it, people so search for this. Just do that. So now, is it still recording? Okay, and now the you choose and browse up to two categories. So you actually put this and Louis V's fiction general okay let's say action and adventure action action and adventure so to bring african america alternative history whatever you just want to choose so you can see this action and adventure alternative history whatever then you don't see age and grade range so you can actually see this is you can actually put maybe a age range maybe you want it to 16 plus or 18 plus whatever age you want to put then you now say I am ready to release my book now. Cause if you put make my Kindle ebook available for pre-order, it will actually I don't actually do that. I just want um to release my book now. So I can even if I don't release it today, I will just have to do maybe let's say I just have to do whatever. So just okay, let me just write into here. Okay, so so we can be able to go to the next step. What did they say this time, man? Just, I'm not actually, that is not actually, that was not actually mixing. I just actually did that to be able to go back. So now it's saved. Okay, maximum 18 plus. Okay, then just put it to 18 plus. So now I don't know. I want to. Read. Mm -hmm. Then I actually going to see if I put this no other problem. Because I'm not actually doing a full course on this. I'll still delete this. I'm not releasing any book called GOT. I don't want to be sued. So, right, the digital rights management just put no. Then when there's a upload ebook manuscript, just is you can see they said we we recommend format the recommended format for Kindle ebook is Docs, EPUB and KPF. So what I know is Docs. So just actually upload the book like go to your WPS, your MS Docs, any what processor you have and create write your story if you don't know how to write you can use the link in the description to get someone that can write for you on fiverr so in amazon kdp you don't even need to be able to write you can actually pay someone to write the novel for you and you upload it and get paid when people buy your novel so now or your book or whatever you're uploading so now you can upload a ebook manuscript then you can launch cover creator launch cover creator this launch cover creator is actually you choosing a cover for your book or you can actually create your own and upload it here in jpeg or tiff just is not like tiff it's just like a way or let's say a resolution or something like that so kindy ebook preview you just launch previewer then you'll be able to preview your book then this ISBN just ignore it. It's optional. Publisher ignore. Then you save and continue. So now, because I don't have any ebook to upload here, I'm not actually doing this because the last time I did something like that, the video got taken down. So now I'll just, I'll just um, open another of my book and show you how to set the payment method. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So now, okay, let's open one of my books. Actually, this is an, one of my ebooks that I've already launched. I'll put the link for you to be able to purchase it and read. Yeah. So this is actually it. You can see, you just choose your territories. Put all territories, unless you want to restrict it to some places. Then primary market place should be in Amazon.com. Then your royalty should be 35%. You can actually read to understand what royalty is. I'm not going to explain that here. But royalty is actually going to be include your the money Amazon is going to pay you and what they are going to take. That's just how it is. That is just so I can explain it now. So you can actually see if you check it or your royalty plan. So just read it. So 
this you actually put the money amount um you can see it must be within at least one dollar to two hundred dollars for your book so if you do that put uh, my book is 6.99 um us dollar so just know that amazon has already calculated it in different amazon branches like different amazon websites and the amount like in different countries they have amazon.co.uk even for different places and know how much is going to actually pay the estimation and everything so just if you actually enjoy this video just actually subscribe and like amazon kids is not actually my area but at least i had to do this video so i got to do it so now you can after that just put publish your kindle ebook and it's going to be published that is if you have completed everything including your tax information and your payment and your payment method so that is gonna be it for today goodbye